So the way that I think about photography is that photography is omnipresent in our society. I mean, it's we all are involved in photography, regardless of whether or not we think we are. It, it's sort of it's sort of the pressure that pushes the culture along. Millions of photographs are taken every second in the world, and photography it's everywhere. It's everywhere you look. If you think about how it changes society, how it changes the world, how it changes attitudes. You can look no further than Danella Frazier's video of George Floyd and how that changed the way that we look at police brutality, police, um, how black, black people have been uh, abused by police. And not only her video, but countless other videos, all taken with a cell phone. I mean, we carry around this really powerful little instrument in our, in our in our pockets, and you know, the majority of those pictures are selfies and pictures of our cats and dogs. But some really important work comes out of that, and I think it's something to think about how photography, the role that photography plays in our society. Uh, with this work that I'm doing, it's highly personal. It's work that my father made back in the 40s and 50s. And I am making images from his work uh, in the form of collage, in the form of uh, constructions that reflect the current climate today. So I'm looking back in the 40s and 50s when he made these images and thinking about um, the Jim Co era that the images were made and uh, thinking about today and how much of that climate is still prevalent in our society. So I want to make that connection between my father and me, um, you know, some, whatever it was, 60, 70 years ago when he made these images and what's going on today. When my dad made the images that he made of, of the community that he uh, lived in, and which was Fort Gibson, Oklahoma, uh, back in the 40s and 50s, I don't think he was necessarily thinking in any sort of social justice way. I think he was he was basically documenting the people in his neighborhood. Um, and the people in that neighborhood were a, a black enclave situated within an all white town. And uh, I don't think he was thinking about that in terms of um, having any sort of effect on society or or, uh, you know, what these how these pictures function out in the world outside of just you know, being a, a, a nice picture of Aunt Millie, you know, but um, but there's a there's a really great essay that Bell Hooks wrote uh, called In Our Glory, and that informed a lot of the way that I think about these images, because in that in that essay, she talks about how blacks weren't allowed in cultural institutions, they weren't allowed in, in museums due to Jim Crow. Back in back in the '40s and '50s, and so they curated their own ex exhibitions, if you want to call it, on their walls of their family, and they set on the shelves, they set on the mantelpieces, they set hung in the living rooms, and that was the exhibition space for Black America, and um, so a lot of that thought goes into how I built. Um, the conversation with my father exhibition. Uh, some of the Im images actually set on shelves and that references the Bell Hooks exhibition. Some of the images are made of glass, uh, which references the fragility, the, the resilience and the fragility of the community in that glass is very resilient, but it shatters. And that's what happened to that community. It shattered all over the country. Uh, and I consider myself one of those shards that landed in Philadelphia. There are countless photographers, professional, non-professional, amateurs, uh, out making images that speak to racial injustice, that speak to climate change, that speak to all of the ills of the world. And I, you know, I don't think that necessarily photography is gonna change these things, but I do think that it adds a voice. And in some cases, I think it does make great change. Again, again referring back to, to uh, uh, Danella Frazier, I think it can make great changes or it can be a catalyst for conversation. And I look at the work that I'm doing as more of that catalyst for conversation because, you know, I don't think that, you know, the work that I'm doing is going to, is going to, you know, you know, 
re make us it's going to change the social climate but if i can just spark a conversation between two people that's all i'm after if i can just start that conversation with people but maybe between two people two people that disagree on on uh racial justice at least that conversation started so that's that's really all i can ask from for, uh, from the work that i'm doing right now